next study is mixed numbers. So what are mixed numbers? Mixed numbers are mixed whole numbers plus a fraction. Whole number plus a fraction, whole number plus a fraction, whole number plus an improper fraction, whole number plus an improper fraction. You get the point. So let's do the drawing method for those who like drawing. So we have three whole pies or three whole circles plus a fractional part of one half. It says according to this, you need to cut this into halves. Cut each circle holes into halves. Halves, 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 and halves. So it says we need to shade in three holes plus the fractional part of one half. How many pieces did you shade in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We shade in seven pieces and are cut into halves. So the whole, the mixed number, three and one half, is equivalent to seven half, which is an improper fraction, which we'll be studying uh, tomorrow. So three and one half is equivalent to seven halves. You know what? There must be a faster way where you don't have to draw this. Anybody know? No? All right, fine. We'll keep, continue to plug in drawing. So next one shows we have two whole numbers, or two whole circles, plus the fractional part of two-thirds. It says cut each one into thirds. Oh, my future car. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> so it says we need to shade in two whole numbers, or two whole circles, plus the fractional part of two-thirds. How many pieces did you shade one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight thirds. So two and two thirds is equivalent or the same as eight thirds. How do we get that? I don't really know. Let's see. There are two whole circles. Each one has three pieces, a six, plus two more adds up to eight. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. You know, I'm going to draw one more time until I can get the answer. So it says we have three whole numbers, or three whole circles, plus the fractional part of three-fourths. It says cut each whole circle into four pieces, or four sections. It says shade in three whole, one whole, two whole circles, three whole circles, and the fractional part of three-fourths. How many pieces did I shade in? Let's see. I have three whole circles. Each one has four. That's 12. Three times four is 12. Plus three more adds up to 15, and they're cut into fourths. So three and three, four mixed number is equivalent to 15 fourths, which is an improper fraction. Again, an improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than the denominator, or equal to the denominator. You know what? I really don't know. Wait. I, you know what? I just figured it out. All you do is you multiply the denominator of whole number, that's three, that's 12, 4 times 3 is 12. Then you add the numerator, 15, and you keep the denominator the same. Hey, doesn't that look like a popcorn to you? So this is almost called the popcorn method. So you multiply the numerator and the, and the, sorry, the denominator and the whole number, which is 6, plus the numerator is 8 thirds. One more time. You multiply the denominator whole number, which is 6, plus the numerator adds up to 7 halves. Does it work all the time? Ooh, popcorn. Denominator whole numbers, that's multiplied as 35, plus the numerator is 37 fifths. So they are equivalent. It does work. Again, multiply the denominator whole number as 32, Plus the numerator is 34 eighths. Did you know you can simplify it? They're equivalent, but you can simplify this. Aren't both numbers still even? So let's divide each number by 2. 34 divided by 2 is 17. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So all three of these are equivalent. 4 and 2, 8 is equivalent to 34, 8, which is equivalent to 17, 4. So using the popcorn method, you just multiply the denominator and the whole number and add the numerator and keep the denominator the same. So this is the study of mixed 
numbers.